Hi buddy, so welcome back, it's Anne-Sophie and today I have the Motorola Razor and this is the box the frame comes in and together we will open it and go through the first steps. So this is what it looks like um, when you open it, this is the phone and um, then you take it out here and I'm gonna need to push it over because otherwise it's really like hard to get it out personally. Um, this is the phone and this is what it looks like from the back if you didn't know. Um, you can fold it in half and then it looks like this. Personally I think it has like the size of a small like purse for me. Then the phone comes with um, a little case for the top and the bottom. That's what it looks like. Just a clear case um, to protect your phone. And uh, then also a charger and uh, the cable. So this is what comes with the phone and now we will set the phone up together. So this is the phone. Um, you can fold it in half, as I said, but otherwise, if you don't fold it, it looks like a normal um, phone. So this is the storage. Pretty much looks like every other smartphone. Um, you can set a vision settings here and make emergency calls and um, set your language here. And we're going to go with the English and then click on start. First of all, it says to connect to a mobile network. Um, we have a separate video for that, so we skip this part right here, but you can totally go ahead and insert your SIM card. Now it wants to connect to Wi-Fi, and that is pretty useful, just so you can like download apps, um, use WhatsApp or whatever else. So I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi now. So you can click on show password here, and then it will show you your password, so you can check if you put it all in correct. Then you click on connect and hopefully it all worked, yep. And now we come to privacy and software updates. Motorola collects and reports usage information to keep your software up to date, provide personalized support and improve product and service data collected. Um, will be transferred to Motorola service in the USA. You can change your privacy preferences anytime by going to settings then privacy, Motorola privacy. Um, so you can now customize your, well, privacy and software updates, um, help improve Motorola products, enhance device services, get customized support and recommendations for your device. I don't know, um, you can enable and disable these as you like. Um, you can read through Motorola privacy policy here and then click on accept and continue when you're done. Now we have the option to copy apps and data, so you can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google accounts and more from an old device to this new device. Um, if you have an old device you can totally do so, but sometimes it's also nice to start fresh again. So to start without any like data you've collected over the past years. So if you click on next the phone will um, go with you through the steps you need to take to transfer your apps and everything else. Um, we don't have another device we want to copy apps and data from, um, so we say don't copy. Now it asks us to sign into our Google account um, that's also needed to like download apps. Um, if you don't have an account though, you can create an account here. I'm going to put in my email now and then answer and then put in the password. Same here, if you click on show password, it will show you your password so you can check if you put it all in right. Then you click on next and now we have the Google terms of service. So you can read through it and then say you agree or you say don't add this account now. But if you want to download apps um, and so forth, you need a Google account. So I recommend to, well, just agree on that. Um, otherwise you can't add an account. Now Google services. Um, so back up to Google Drive, use location, allow scanning send usage and diagnostic data, install apps and updates. Um, so you can enable and disable these as you like as well. Use location, you see if you turn that off, it also turns off allow scanning automatically. Um, this can just be enabled and disabled if the use location is on, otherwise it's just automatically disabled. Um, 
so that's what you can customize here you can read um, through the privacy policy and then click on accept and now we can choose our search engine and if you click on these little arrows there you can see more information about the search engine and then decide for one i'm gonna go with ecosia and then the phone wants us to set a pin um, we also have another video for that so we're gonna skip this part again then it says that a pin protects the phone if it's lost or stolen we're gonna skip this part anyways and then we come to continue setup um, keep going to get your device fully set up or leave now and get a reminder to finish later we say leave and get a reminder to finish later we're pretty much set up and um, oh now we come to another slide to stay in the known no we don't want to receive that not now by registering my email i agree to receive exclusive information about product launches events tips beta tests software updates and much more i confirm that i'm 16 or older no not now not now take care of your phone okay next choose your theme you can always change your mind later in the settings so this is um, whether you want the dark or the light mode on your phone you can see the difference here um, that is up to you whatever you like best and then click on next now we can choose the navigation style um, so like the button gesture or um, this swipe kind of thing that reminds me of like the iPhone navigation style um, I'm gonna go with the buttons and then click on next now it says you're all set you're ready to start using your phone okay done and now we're on our home screen now you can continue to set up your phone or use it or whatever else um, so that was at the initial setup of the Motorola Razr hope you liked it hope it helped if so thumbs up share and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye.